All right then gang, so in this video what I'd like to do is step away from navigation and the header a bit now and come back to our design over here or rather lack of design because currently doesn't look great and the same goes for this over here doesn't look that good so we're going to start to address that severe problem in this video and what we're going to do is create a custom card component and display each one of these in a card and then when you go to the details display this in a card as well now if you don't know what a card is then you're probably not familiar with anything like bootstrap or any kind of css framework because they all have card components all it is is like a little box that sometimes round at the corners and shows a drop shadow and it looks a bit like a card with information on just a UI component, that's all. And that's what we're gonna create. Now we're gonna do this inside the shared folder over here because it is gonna be a shared component. We'll use it here and we'll use it in this component and maybe on the about component as well. So it makes sense to go inside the shared folder. So create a card.js file. And then at the top, the first thing we need to do is import a couple of different things. So I'm gonna paste those in because I'm super lazy. And the first thing I've pasted in, in over here, I can't actually move my cursor. Okay, the first thing I've pasted in is React and then also style sheets and view from React Native. So now let's create this component. So export default, and then it's a functional component called card. And we're gonna take in some props, which we'll use shortly. Now we're gonna return a JSX template. And the first thing inside this is gonna be a view. And this view, I will apply a style prop to, and that's gonna be styles.card. And we're gonna make those styles in a moment. But inside that, I'm gonna do another view. And this is gonna have a style as well. And that style is gonna be equal to styles.card content. Now, inside this view, I'm not gonna hard code any kind of data. I'm not gonna output the name of the review or anything like that. All I'm going to do is output props.children. Now, what is props.children? Well, if I was to use this card component in another component in the future, for example, say I did something like this card, and then inside that I did a text widget saying hello, and then I did another text widget that said hello again, then when it renders this component, these things right here, these are the children of the component, props.children. So it passes these things into this card component right here, and it attaches them to the children property of props. So when I use props.children right here inside this component, because we take the props in, then it grabs whatever we've nested inside the card and it outputs it right here. So it is in essence doing this, right? So I'm doing this because then in the future we can use our card for multiple different things. Now, if I was just to hard code like the review title in here, then it means in the future we couldn't use this card on the about screen because we'd have a random review title in there. And I don't want that. I want the children to be dynamic and we can choose whenever we use the card, what the content of the card is gonna be. That makes sense. Okay, so now let's create a style sheet. So const styles is equal to style sheets and dot create. And what I'm actually gonna do is not add any styles onto this yet. I'll make the rules. So card like that. And then also we want one called card content. But what I'm actually gonna do is use this card first of all, so we can see it and then update the styles as we go forward and can preview them. So I'm going to save it there for now. And then inside the home component, I'm going to import the card. So let me say import and it's going to be card from and we want to come out of the screens folder, then into the shared one and then we want card. So now I can use this card component down in this component right here and we're going to use it inside this flat list. So we'll keep the touchable opacity because we still want to be able to touch the card. And then instead of this thing right here, we're gonna use a card. And in fact, what I'll do is keep this right here. I will cut it and then just put a card component around it. So I'll paste it back in. 
So this is the props.children. We're passing this into the card, which will then display right here, but we're now surrounding it in these two views, which we're gonna style in a second. So let me just save this for now. And to begin with, it's probably not gonna to look too different. In fact, it looks exactly the same. So let's now go and style this a little bit. So first of all, the card itself. Well, the first thing I want to do is give this a border radius, which curves the corners, and that is gonna be six pixels. The higher the number, the more curved it is. Elevation, that is gonna be three. And the elevation is how much it comes away from the screen. So the distance between the card and the back of the screen. You'll see that in a second. Then I want to give this a background color. And that is going to be FFF, so white. And then I'm going to give this a shadow offset. Now shadow offset is a way that we can give a shadow to something. And the offset is how much to the right we want to nudge it and how much down we want to nudge it. So you know when you have like a box shadow, uh, when you're using CSS for web, it's similar to that. Now this is going to be an object where we specify the width and that is going to be an offset of one to the right and the height, which will be an offset of one down vertically. Okay. So what I'm going to do is in fact, just preview this so far, just to see if we can see any of these changes over here. It might not look too different at the minute. In fact, no, it doesn't because we need to give it a shadow color and that is going to be 333 three, three. and also we'll give it a shadow opacity. So how clear is the shadow going to be? Well, we're going to say 0 0.3. If this was at zero, then we wouldn't be able to see it at all. If it's at one, then it'd be very dark. So I'm going to save that now and then see if we can see any changes on the right. And no, we can't. So what's going on? Right. Okay. I've seen that this is stylesheet.card. It should be styles. I've made that mistake a couple of times now. Um, I don't know whether it's auto correction or something in VS code, but anyway, now hopefully we should see those changes. Okay. So you can now, if you really squint, see that this is starting to look a little bit like a card, maybe not, but it's getting there. So the next thing I want to do is give this a shadow radius, and that is going to be two. So if I save this now, let's see what that does. I think we need to give this a bit of a margin before we notice any difference. So I'm going to say margin horizontal and put that at about four pixels and then margin vertical. So up and down and put that at six pixels. So let me save this now. Hopefully we can see the shadow a little bit better. Okay, yeah, so the shadow is a little bit better, a bit more noticeable now. And this shadow radius, by the way, basically controls like how it blends in as it goes out further away from the card. Okay, so now we need to add a bit of padding to the actual card content inside. So I'm gonna say, in fact, we don't need to use padding, we can use margin because it is inside the card after all. So margin horizontal, and that is gonna be about 18 pixels and also margin vertical and that will be about 20 pixels save that and hopefully that looks quite a bit better okay cool so those cards are looking a bit better and we can still click on those and everything still works now i want to do the same thing for the review details so let's go to review details and let's place all of this inside a card as well so first of all we need to import that at the top so let me say import card from and dot dot forward slash to come out of the current directory then into shared then we want the card so all i really need to do now is place all of this stuff here inside a card so i'm gonna cut all that and use my card components and then paste all of that back inside and hopefully that will look a little bit better now so let me save it and then let's try clicking on one of these reviews Okay, so now that is inside a card as well. And yes, it still looks a bit pants, but it will look better later on when we start to add a little icon for the rating instead of a number and maybe give some styles to the title, etc. So for now, that's looking a lot better.